everybody it's Sally from Sally Stampers and Happy New Year to everybody. Um, it only feels like five minutes ago that it was Christmas and yet here we are a new year. Um, I hope you've all had a fantastic time celebrating with friends, families and loved ones um, and I do hope that nobody's been alone because that always makes me feel very sad when I think of people being alone. Um, but we're back, we're a new year, we are three days, two days away from the new catalogue. Um, I'm very excited as you can tell by all the projects and products that I've been using recently. Um, today is a fairly simple one but um, you know we have so many beautiful products in our annual catalogue that I think we'd sometimes forget them. Um, I've never been a fan of ombre ribbon um, but yet for some reason I love this. <laughs> Bizarre I know so I don't think that I can say I'm not a fan anymore because clearly I like it. So what I've used here is the Botanical Butterflies DSP which is a celebration item so spend £45 or €60 Euros, um, in a single purchase not including postage and packaging and you can choose a free celebration item and this is one of them. Um, it's gorgeous, it is double sided as I said. Um, and I just think this is a cute little box, it would be perfect for a Father's Day gift um, or just because gift, um, as I've said, just for you on my little sentiment there. Lemon Lime Twist, Lemon Lime Twist Ombre Ribbon, beautiful, and then just basic black. Um, I'm not going to open this box, but this DSP also lines the bottom, which you will see when I make mine. So let's go ahead and make them. So for the base, you will need a piece of black cardstock that measures for, oh, excuse me, <clears throat> four inches by six inches and then we are going to score it at one inch on all sides so in centimeters it will be 10 centimeters by 17 centimeters and you will be scoring at 2.5 centimeters on all four sides so once we've done that, I'm actually going to use that as my shim and score my lid while I'm here. So my lid is five and a half by three and a half inches, which is 16 by nine centimetres. And I'm going to score this one at three quarters of an inch, whoops, which is two centimetres. And again, I'm going to do that on all four sides. It's always quite hard to score a small measurement when you have a shim um, but hey presto we're doing it I hope you all had a happy new year by the way and you aren't feeling too um, either weary or hungover today um, luckily I don't I don't really celebrate new year so and I don't really drink so I won't be hungover thank heavens uh, obviously because I, I filmed this way before New Year. So obviously with our base we are going to fold and burnish all of these score lines. Whoops. And then we're going to cut our corner pieces into tabs. So cut down one side and cut our wedges out. And we do that on all of the four corners. Hard to see when it's black. And it's gone very grey outside. I don't think it's affecting what you can see too much. But I feel that it's gone really dark. And that's not good because I still have more videos to do. <laughs> more filming to do. Okay, so again, as you know, I have my multitude of clips here. And I'm just going to spin this over. So I have my DSP that I'm going to put on the inside of my bottom. <laughs> on the inside of the base of my box. I'm not putting it on my bottom at all. Um, and this is simply um, four inches by two inches minus one eighth of an inch. So it's literally just a shim off. Um, but in centimetres it will be 11.8 by 4.8. Because it's easier to do with centimetres. And I can't be doing with the inches and eighths of inches and stuff so I just say four by two minus a little bit minus an eighth or a little shim so that just sits on the inside and then I'm going to use my wet glue just on the tabs here oops 
come on there we go and then as you know I just fold one in line those edges up and pop a clip just to hold it in place while I do the rest and that one is on there and then the last two fold in line up and pop your clips on okay so set that off to one side while we do our lid so we're going to fold and burnish the same as we did for the base fold and burnish all of those score lines exactly the same with the lid we're going to cut those wedges And then we have some DSP to pop on the top. And the, the DSP is three and three quarters by one and three quarters, which will be 11 by four centimeters. So that's here. And then before I forget, again, I'm gonna use my three quarter inch circle punch. And then I just want to eyeball or measure the centre and just cut a semicircle out. And then again, I'm going to put some adhesive on just two of my tabs. And again, Grab my clips here and just pop those on. Make sure that's level. And then I'm just going to leave that to dry for a moment because I want to just do my little bit of stamping. So I have some scrap whisper white here and I've used the Rooted in Nature and the little Just For You sentiment which I think fits perfectly on this and then I'm going with Calypso Coral because I'm using the Calypso Coral Ombre Ribbon and I'm just going to stamp that on there and then um, I actually used, no I didn't use that one at all <laughs> The three quarter inch circle punch that I used for the lid will actually just, just fit this nicely. And then I have some basic black and my one inch circle punch just for the backing circle. A uh, snail, a little bit of snail on the back of there and pop that on there so that's done here is my gorgeous ombre ribbon the calypso coral I love it so I'm going to pop that there so take these off my base now because that will be done take them off there because they will be okay now so I'm going to pop this on and then pop some more make sure it's all sitting nice and tight going to pop some adhesive on these pieces here and then tuck them inside whilst my box is in nicely oops it's all moved what's happening here why is that I don't know what's going on here. Something's not right. Right. Okay, don't listen to my usual way of doing this. I'm going to stick this by hand. Which hopefully that will be enough. And then I'll put that in first. I don't know what's going on with that box. Something's probably not quite right. But anyway, we'll try and make the best of a bad job here. <laughs> So, pop my lid on, which doesn't fit as nicely as the other one did. 
and then I just want a dimensional for this so I'll just pop in the centre and then this will sit in the corner of my box there and then I just have some of my beautiful ribbon to just sit round the top and then I'm just going to tie a normal bow I just think that it shows off the ribbon as well as our beautiful DSP and again they are ideal gifts for male or female or a just because or for as an occasion they're great little boxes and like I said they just show off this really pretty ribbon wow I did the bow almost perfect the first time so I just want to I just want to fiddle yes I know leave it alone it looks fine and then I'm just going to trim these tails a little and there we have it our beautiful ombre ribbon tied monochrome boxes hope you like them hope you have a fabulous new year and i hope you come back and see me again soon have a great day bye